Hello everybody and welcome back to Lawrence Struggles with uh, Factorio, Angel Bobs and the Petrochem. So where were we? In the last episode, ah oh yes I remember, we just set up this um, plastic production facility across here and it ran for a few minutes. I generated um, apparently about 100 135 pieces of plastic and then the whole thing stopped running because one of my ta one of my waste tanks over here filled up. I think it was this one. Yes, the gas condensates. So what I was planning to do next was to have a play around with some of the um, other recipes that are available to me and try and find something something useful to do with these si with these uh, waste products rather than just venting them all off. For example, I know that the um, sulfuric wastewater can be turned into sulfuric acid, and that's something that's going to come in very useful over the um, over the next few well at some point in the future. I think I can use it to do things like turning crushed stone into useful ores and that sort of thing. Uh, but, you know, that that's to come. But at the very least, I want to hang on to that and do something useful with it. The gas condensates, um, there's a lot of gas left in those. So I can turn that, so I'm sure there is there are ways to turn that into useful things that I can then turn into plastic. Uh, the raw gas, of course, is one I'm using as natural gas. Acid gas, I'm not so sure about. Maybe that could be turned into um, sulfuric acid as well, or maybe a different acid. I, I don't know. We'll wait, let's wait to see. Butane and ethane, I'm not so sure about. Residual gas, I think residual gas can be turned into almost anything with the right recipes, but we'll see. And the uh, the propene and of course the liquid plastic are the products I actually want. So the main one for to start with is this gas condensates, and then I think after that the butane and the ethane will be the things I want to work want to worry about. So let's have a think about this. Let's have a look at um, FNEI, and I'm going to have a poke around in here. I might even make some notes, but I'm going to shut up so I can basically cut all of this out because it's going to be incredibly boring to watch. Okay, so using this recipe here, I can essentially turn the waste gas into more of the things that come out of these, this this part of the process, the um, the methane, ethane, and butane. Um, so because I'm producing those already, the methane in particular is one of the things I specifically want. So I think this would be a good one to start off with. So I'm going to research this tech. And then what's that done in? That's done in an advanced gas refinery. I don't, I imagine I probably can't make those yet. Um, no, I can't. So the research will presumably get me those. That's not running. Was that a, uh, that's a blue research. Okay, apparently I'm not going to do that then. Back to the old drawing board. Okay, that's not very promising. It turns out that the, um, there's a couple of things that I can, there's basically one thing I can make this into at the moment. And that's this one where I make oil residuals, base mineral oil, fuel, fuel oil and naphtha. Um, and I can't turn the oil residuals into anything useful because that requires steam cracking too, which I which I can't get. Base mineral oil, I can turn to lubricant. That would actually be quite potentially quite useful. Fuel oil, maybe. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe, to be honest, I'm wondering if maybe I should be doing this just anyway because it's the only way to get get rid of these gas condensates, oh, but that also requires crude oil, which I don't have here. So I think, sadly, I am actually just going to have to dump all of this. So let's build a clarifier. This feels like a shame because it seems like something very, very useful. Once I get blue science up and running, I'll be able to do something a bit more useful with it. No, not there. Why isn't that running? Oh, I thought maybe, maybe it's a flare stack then. Okay, that goes out through a flare stack, not a clarifier, my mistake. <laughs> Okay, so that that's going to use up all of that. That's that's fine. It's a bit. It feels like a waste. I was looking forward to getting those um, extra, um, an extra, essentially an extra supply of these three gases. But never mind. Next one is well, I've got more. I've got more ethane than butane. So let's look that one up. See what I can make with that. None of this looks particularly useful, with the possible exception of the. Where was it? Oh, no, it makes residual gas. I'm going to put this the wrong way around, as usual. This looks like another void for now, unfortunately. I have this vague suspicion I'm going to regret this later, and I'm going to wish I'd kept all of these things, because they're going to be really useful. But I'm sure if I do, then I'll be able to just make more of them. Okay, that's nearly... That's actually nearly all of the... Th oh, no, there's the uh, residual gas. Can I do anything useful with that? Short answer, no. It's another one where there are some useful things I could do, but they're hidden behind advanced gas processing, which requires blue science packs to do it and I require plastic for the blue science pack so basically I can't get that until I've I can't do that until I've got my blue science up and running and up and running quite well as well I suspect acid gas is going to be the same but I'll have a look anyway yeah again same sort of problem there are some things that may potentially be useful later at the moment I have absolutely no use for them and I suspect the more useful parts of it I wouldn't be able to do anyway and remember to misspell, misspell sulfuric because it's apparently American Ah, sulfuric acid I need for battery. 
No, it's just sulfuric wastewater. Let's look up the right thing. <laughs> okay, so water treatment will turn this into sulfur and water. I need sulfur for something. I forget what, but I needed sulfur for something. Oh yes, yeah, sulfur can be turned into sulfuric acid, I believe. And I think I need it for batteries as well. Um, oh, I need it directly for the blue science packs. Okay, so that's definitely something I want to do. And in fact, I can probably... I'll do that down here as well. So that's relatively straightforward, I think. Here we go with threading the, um, the pipes through, because I guess I'm, I'm making a pipe bus. So yeah, let's do this down here somewhere. I could make this train pick up both plastic and sulphur, but I think I don't want to do that. It's just going to be a bit too complicated. Speaking of complicated, getting another train out here is going to be a pain as well. I might have to loop out the other side and do it somewhere where this wall is. That's not ideal. Or I could just go further, I suppose, and assume there's going to be more processing stuff in here, because there probably is. Okay. So what do I do to make what do I do to make sulfur from this stuff? I need a water water treatment sorry a hydro plant. Okay. Sure, if I can make Mark IIs, let's make Mark IIs. Why not? That's going to take a while to build, but let's cancel them all and get some more pipes. Hopefully, there's some pipes in my car over here. Yes, there we go. But let's get the actual car itself, because then if I want to build anything automatically, I've got the bots available to do it. Which is good. Two of those will probably be enough to start with, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so we'll have a belt coming down here. Next question. How far up did my um, fluid bus go? Okay, it went to here. I'm just going to draw this one out all the way over here so I can tell where the top is. So that I don't end up building, trying to have two substances, two liquids at the same um, same height. Okay, so pure, mineralized water and purified water. Are probably both going to come in quite useful sooner or later because I know there's a lots there's lots of recipes that use them. Um, however, there aren't any available yet, or at least there aren't any yet. I'm using it yet, so for now, straight into the tanks with those. That's going to fill up damn quickly, I can tell. I'm probably going to need to whack clarifiers straight on both of these. There we go. I know it's a bit wasteful to throw all of these perfectly good types of water away, but unfortunately, I don't. Oh, ah, went the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. That was a spectacular fail. Um, do I have any fuel for this one? Yes, there we go. Yeah, don't drive your construction vehicle into trains, kids. It's apparently really rather bad for them. <laughs> uh, let's make one of these a near side inserter, just, just because. I've built that a bit too low down to just copy this station. That's a shame. Let's move this up. No, not there. <laughs> it's about the one place I couldn't put it. You working? You're filling up with liquid. Okay, right, so if I copy that, and I want to put this in somewhere. It doesn't really matter exactly where I put it. Um, I could, if I just, okay, it matters quite a bit. It's going to have to go along here, like that, in order to avoid the um, clarifiers. Oh, I can, well, that can go there. Um, then I just need to loop this round onto there. Let's put in that bit as well. I guess this means my construction vehicle is out of um, railway line. And inserters. I'm out of inserters as well. Okay, time for a restock, I think. Although, basic idea is working fairly well. I need some more of these. Right, so that's two of the things I'm going to need for my... Um... Okay, so that's two of the things I'm going to need for the blue science packs. I've got the plastic being made in the first station and the sulfur being made for the second one. So, let's rename this. I should chuck some trains in, but I don't have enough. I should go and get some. Right, so this area is now... Is it now finished? I think so. I think this is going to just tick over now. It's currently running... It's currently running incredibly slowly. Um, we've now made 350 pieces of plastic. That's pathetic. These machines are all running flat out. Of course they are. They're trying to fill their, um, their, their tanks up. Of the things I care about, let's see... Raw gas. The raw gas tank is getting full, so this, these these are running faster than they need to. So these are okay. What's next? Natural gas liquids. I don't know. I mean, it's sitting around 600. It doesn't. Yeah, that's that's not going anywhere. So perhaps there aren't enough of the. Yeah, there aren't enough. Of, there aren't enough of these. These ones. I need. I need a bigger. Um. What what, what what am I even refining here? Okay, I'm turning raw raw gas. So I need I need a lot more raw gas refineries. So I need to make some more refineries. And that'll enable these to run a bit more, a bit more solidly. But I'm, but I'm still going to need more of them because they're running most of the time. 
down to here. These seem to be running. Oh yeah, let's see. So I'm, and those are using the methane, which is going up. Okay, so I need more of these as well. I need more steam crackers. And they're producing methanol, right? Yeah, methanol. And that seems to be the, that seems to be the slow. Okay, so the two slow parts seems to be this one, the um, turning the raw gas into um, no, turning the oh, Christ. <laughs> turning the I don't even know. Yeah, turning the raw gas into natural gas liquids. That one's too slow. So I need more refiner gas refineries. I need more steam crackers. The chemical plants and the assembly machines seem to be okay. They're running fast enough that I don't need any more. I also need more inserters. Right, let's hop back in the bulldozer, trundle gently back to the base, and do some restocking. While I'm on my way, is there anything I can build that's going to be useful? Gas refineries, yes, I can build some more of those. Steam crackers, no, I can't, because I've just used all the resources up on the other things. What is it I'm short of? Iron. Okay, I feel like I'm going to need a lot more iron. Definitely need a lot more pipes because I've used them all up. Um, and I'm making countless ones in my inventory over here. In fact, let's abort that, get some more pipes, and stop making quite so much stuff in my pockets. And kill some trees as well, of course. I didn't, apparently didn't build any. Okay, so I need refineries, lots of them. I'm going to just build 10. It's a crazy number, but I you know anyway. I feel like I want to pick up enormous quantities of absolutely everything and just shove it all in the um, in the inventory of this vehicle. But at the moment, there isn't really all that much stuff to just grab, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to need anyway. I might have a construction machine. I've only got four assembly machines. There's another 50 in there, so that's fine. I feel like I never have enough boxes, so let's make some more of those. Oh, train bits. I need some more, a lot more of that. Stone bricks, that's going to be something I'll need. That's probably enough stone bricks. Why have I not got any more stone bricks coming through? Oh, I see. Interesting. Because of all that landfill I'm building down here, I'm actually using up all of the all of the crushed all of the crushed stone is being turned into stone rather than being turned into bricks. In a spectacular turn up for the books, I've now not got enough crushed stone for what's going on. <laughs> How bizarre. Maybe I need to make this, I definitely need to make this whole belt yellow. Let's nip over and do that. Do I have enough yellow belts? No, I've got four of them. Do I have some in my truck? Thirty-four. Ninety-seven. Yeah, okay, I've got enough of those. Probably. We'll see. Now, to be honest, this is probably something else I could use bots for, because I've got the upgrade planner. Um, but that would require actually getting the um, construction vehicle in over here. And I suspect that would be more effort than just building this all by hand. And there we go. Even the, ammun huh, even the ammunition's backed up now. I've spent so long messing around with the, um, the Petrochem and the, the mines down at the bottom that I've actually managed to back completely back up for my ammunition belt. That's amazing. <laughs> Should we take some walls while we're here as well? Building belts up here. Yeah, sure. Let's take some yellow belts. I'm not going to bother with these crushers or with the furnaces. I don't seem to be using those. I am going to take some miners because I keep wanting to build up new mines. Turrets? Nah, I'm not doing not doing much combat at the moment. I think I've already got quite a few. Train parts I've already picked up, um, so I think I'm okay on that. So that's engines. Don't need engines. Let's take some engines in case, in case I need to make some pumps. I can't even find them. And let's see. I'm going to want definitely red inserters, probably stack inserters. Maybe those. Definitely all the yellow stuff. I've actually used up all of those pipes that I gathered. That's crazy. Oh yeah, I was going to build up something to build some pipes down here at the bottom as well, wasn't I? That's easy enough. Yeah, I'll come back when I run out. No, no trains coming. There we go. And just like that, they finish off the station for me. Okay, let's slap a couple of trains down, and then I'll go and think about the um, extending the production things over where I've been finding them lacking. I haven't put signals down over here. Let's do that before everything goes horribly wrong. There and there. Okay, so there aren't, isn't room for any more of these further down, unless, well, I suppose I could branch, I could head further down into this area, but that's currently dangerous, I haven't pacified it yet, and that area there still scares me. So for now, I'm going to build upwards. That means drive round here, probably to about here. Yeah, that gives me good, um, good coverage there. Okay, I want another of those. I don't need all of this again, I don't think. It was sort of, well, it wasn't keeping up, but it wasn't too far off. So let's just have another three of them. Let's get it in line, though. And then the other thing was the steam crackers. Was it these ones? Yes, I think it was this steam crackers at this point. Now, these were woefully under-spec'd. Uh, and there's rocks in the way. Can't get 
Yes. The most important thing when putting these down is to make sure they line up with the ones you've already got so that all of your pipe work fits. You don't end up with it trying to mix things. There we go, that's more than I actually brought, but oh well. Do you not have any pipes? I knew I didn't have enough pipes. Fortunately, I can make a lot of pipes, but I don't... Mm, I'm just going to have to. Okay. Ah, I have to admit, I was kind of worried about this, and I was clearly right to have been, because because of these tanks and where they are, where I've put them, I can't build up from here very easily. Um, and what I'm doing here works, but it's ugly as a very, very ugly thing still. I'll have to do. This is how spaghetti starts, I suppose. <laughs> going, oh, I can't do it quite the way I wanted to, but I guess just this once will be all right if I tweak it like this. Oh, that was loud. And again down here, I need to link all of this up, but I came along and put these massive great um, flare stacks in the way. Uh, okay, let's do that. <laughs> right, let's do that. It's almost fitted. Uh, this is difficult. Oh, I suppose I'll put it over here. Which one's this? This is the middle one. That's right, I think? Yes, that's right. Okay, so then it's just this one. It needs to come up to here. No, the outer one. Okay, so that needs to come to here. Oh, and this one. Oh, <laughs> I see what I've done here. Right, there we go. And again, that was an impressive lack of foresight in all of this. There, that'll have multiplied that system by a, a decent chunk. Uh, these are all full, what are they full of? Which one's the complicated one? Is it the one that I want? Doop, doop, doop. Yeah? No, butane. That's another one I should be venting. Methane is nice and full now, so that's clearly doing something right. Methanol is not very full. These are all full of something. Full of methanol. Is there an output for this pipe? Yes, there is. I thought I got all of those, but no. Aha, methanol is actually climbing now. <coughs> Which means I need more steam crackers to um, do the next step. I mean, it's better now. I've got, what, two and a half thousand plastic. So that, that's running quite well. It just needs further expanding. You know what You know what I should really do here, actually? I should do the maths properly and work out... The, ra the ratios between these machines and, and actually calculate how many of each one I should have for it to work properly. Let's do that. Do it properly for once. So, what have we got going in? We've got um, natural gas. Yeah, so we've got natural gas going in. Okay. I've done the maths, and as far as I can tell, now my numbers may may well be way out on all of this, but I think in order to have these final two plastic making machines running flat out, um, which means they'll produce four plastic bars every 2.66 seconds each, so that's eight every 2.66, so about three a second, call it. Um, that's gonna need these two machines being fed by three of these, sorry, four of these, being fed by six cracker, steam crackers here, being fed by eight steam crackers here, being fed by 10 of these refineries, being fed by 13 of these refineries, being fed by 11 separators. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that's a lot. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's, just, let's assume I've got the numbers right for now and ignore the fact that all of these ratios are going to change completely as soon as I research the next level of tech and it's all going to go wildly out the window. Um, and and uh, yeah, start building. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five oil and gas separators so far and I need a lot more stone bricks, but there's my construction vehicle. Oil and gas separators, so I've got five. I need another, uh, I'm making two. So there's pipes again. Let's. I'm not going to... I think building all of these by hand is going to get silly quite quickly. So, and just going to make everything take forever. So, I'm going to drive back to the drive back to the bottom of the bus and that pipe factory I made, and pick up some pipes from there. I probably should have made that more than 400 at the rate I'm doing it. Let's do that. A thousand. Okay. So, what do I need? Oh, I need circuit boards as well. <laughs> it's clearly just the electronics boards are getting used for all of this. So, let's have a splitter in here. If I hadn't left them all in the vehicle these ones. Okay, basic electronic boards and then go to the left. Yeah. Okay, so I need, I made two, I needed six um, of these, six. Then I needed to have 13 
of these refineries plus 10 of these. So what have I got here? I've got 5, 6, 10. So I don't need, I need another 3 for that side. Uh, it was gas refinery, wasn't it? Yes. 3 for that side and 10 on the other. So two more. And then I needed 8 and 6 of the crackers. 7. Yeah, 7. So I need an 8th steam cracker for there and another 4 for this side. I've run out of pipes. <laughs> Then I needed one more advanced, no, two more advanced chemical plants here. Sorry, just chemical plants, rather. Okay, that should be enough to make, enough to finish this off and get it running at um, a wonderful, a whopping great three plastic bars a second. Which I suppose, I mean, that's a reasonable amount of material coming out. We'll um, wait and see whether that's enough to actually keep my factory satisfied. But it feels like a decent starting point. I suppose then the next thing is just going to be going and build another copy of that factory just above it, feeding down into the same um, output belts. Although I can, I worry that this way lies madness trying to just <laughs> copy and paste enormous chunks of factory. Well, I suppose that's what the bots are for. A direct copy and paste is unlikely to be the most efficient way to do it though. It might be that the correct way to do it, if there is such a thing, um, would be to just carry on extending these things upwards until the limits of the pipe trans transfer the limits of the pipe throughputs are reached. Uh, okay, so let's see. So I need four of these. I think that's right. Yeah, but not that, and not that. That's nice and straightforward. Next step back, I need six of these. I've got two at the moment. Four, six. Then I wanted to have eight of these. Not far off with that one. Ten of these. Thirteen. And eleven. <laughs> And also to somehow drive out of here without, yeah, without doing that too much. <laughs> Guess what? I'm out of pipes again. I mean, I can still build a couple of hundred of them, but I've not got remotely enough to satisfy this um, chunk of factory building I'm trying to do. Why is that not being placed? Did I miscount my steam crackers? Fly, my pretties, fly. It's not quite the graceful bot swarm you get when you've got fast bots and hundreds and hundreds of them. But still, I'm I'm not going to knock it. This is so much easier than it would be to have built all this by hand. Right, let's leave them at it while I patch up some of the... Not, I'm not going to call them mistakes, because I was fully aware that some of these were going to happen. Like this, probably not going... Oh no, that does go. Take it back. Why is this one not running then? Oh, it's just lack of input. That's fair enough, because I haven't built up this part yet. That's not doing anything. This, however, is going to need to be patched up. Um... I don't know how I'm going to get this in. Uh, that's what she said. Maybe if I have that go like that and that. Oh, it doesn't actually go anywhere, does it? Okay, that's that one, but I've broken this one. Um, okay, that does work, but... Okay, let's do that. This is spaghettifying alarmingly quickly. Just turning into a bit of a mess. I, mean, I had plans when I started. Some of them were, well, I don't know if they were necessarily good plans, but they were plans nonetheless. Have I run out of underground pipes? I've run out of underground pipes. And I've run out of overground pipes as well, by the looks of that. Oh, I'm not making underground pipes by hand. That just takes forever. Oh, I know. One of the things I've got in here is a faster car. <laughs> and yes, I do have some fuel for it. Nope. Oh, that was close. I mean, it's, it's a little bit faster. It's still not exactly quick. Uh, I'll have to do. Although maybe now that I'm starting to get petrochem stuff through, I can start making um, solid fuel, and that'll give me a bit of a speed boost. Bzzz. I'm not going to try and match pitch, because I'm going to speed this video up anyway, so this, the pitch would be completely wrong. Yeah, okay, repair the car for me. You have most of those. <laughs> Is it still covering the hole? Yeah, more or less. Right, he said emphatically, as if that meant everything was now going to work perfectly. Okay, so let's see. This is producing raw gas, which is sitting at about 900. That's, I don't know, it doesn't see, it's not going up. If it, oh, no, if anything, that's going, that's going down. Okay, maybe I need even more of those. That's, I don't know whether that's holding steady or going up. That's, I think that's holding steady at 1,000. What's the next product, this one? 8,000, that's... Good. I mean, okay, that is... Yep, that's climbing. Next one is this one. Methanol, that's full. Okay, cool. Propene, empty. That's why I haven't linked these up. Where does this even come from? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. <laughs> right. No, that way. 
that's the problem with this sort of shortcut method that I was using down here. It's uh, yeah. And then on the outputs, yeah, they need linking up as well. That goes to there. Right. Hopefully that will now start to climb quickly. Or not that quickly, actually, because I should be using it up as fast as I'm producing it. That's what it means to be perfectly balanced, as all things should be. <laughs> right. It was a nice idea, but I've just blown through my entire supply of natural gas. So, yes, the, um, the refinery may well be perfectly balanced and producing things at exactly the right rate um, all the way through, but I'm not feeding any gas in quickly enough. <laughs> right, um, that means I need more gas mines or more gas trains. Where is that train? Yeah, these are not brimming, so they're clearly not getting... I mean, they're getting maybe getting filled up quickly enough, I'm not sure, but... Right, here's the gas train dropping off. Tanks fill up. Tanks empty again. <laughs> right. Um, yes. Good. <laughs> so some gas down here, some gas here. There's some up north, yeah, here. That's only 5,000%. That's 800%? That one must have been higher than that when I started, surely. And that one's higher on its own. Yeah, I've, ri I've ripped through this patch already. 60 seconds. Expected. Oh, unhelpful. Um, right, that one, 15,000%, um, is probably a good one to go for, especially as it's only got one, two, well, I'd probably want to build, I guess, I don't know, maybe down from here, so I can claim this sapphirite as well, because I'm probably going to want it at some point. Build down here, across here, I get this bobmonium as well, to here, to the coast, this one could carry on across here, seal this area off, that might be worth doing, this is gas, to get this gas specifically. That's another nice, well, 12,000% down there. 311,000. That's a good one. <laughs> Should definitely be going after that. Okay, so how much plastic have I made so far? About 6,000. If I train that in to put on the bus, plastic and the silicon, there isn't really a good place to join the bus at the moment because, yeah, these stations are all quite big and there's big processing facilities by each one. Um... Should I be doing smaller modular factories at this point? I don't really know. Extending the bus further is going to start getting awkward because of this mine and then this coastline. But I do quite like the basic bus system, even if it does get rather big in Angel Bobs. So yeah, let's carry on down here. I can kink this. There aren't any there aren't any cliffs here until I get to here. And I hope but hopefully by the time I get to here I'll have cliff explosives. I I don't know to be honest. I don't know how long it's gonna take. How long is that gonna take? What do I need for that? Explosives. explosives. Okay. Coldness. I've got sulfur now. I can start making that. And then cliff explosives. Ah, yes, I want this. <laughs> this will make everything much nicer. Because, yeah, I can make all of that. Right. That's my. Um, that's going to be my next plan. Cliff explosives. And I'll probably build them in this in this area here because I've got the sulfur and the water. It was water, wasn't it, for explosives? I think it was. Yes, yeah, sulfur and purified water and coal. All of which I have around here, so I can make them. I can make my explosives here, and then cliff explosives just need grenades and barrels, <laughs> which is steel and iron. Hmm, not sure about that. I mean, I've got both of them here, but that's all the way over here. Hmm, I don't know. Still, at least if I make if I make a load of explosives here, I can always carry them back over and, and do do a little bit of manual loading um, for the time being until I produce something better. So yeah, I think getting on with the um, cliff explosives is going to make life a lot happier later on. Here comes another gas train. So yeah, so I think I think this is a good point to call it an episode. Um, I've been playing for. Did it tell me? Yes, yeah, so I've been playing for. Oh no, that's that's the previous at the beginning of this episode. So now I've, I've now been playing for about thirty-four hours in total. <laughs> that's kind of horrendous. Um, so yeah, next episode. Cliff exp I'll research explosives and cliff explosives, get those built up, blow up some of these cliffs that have been bugging me all game, and I can get through here and use the um, landfill to steal some of this lake back. Um, build out all out here, turrets, etc. You know the drill. Maybe even across here and take out this this um, this patch as well. If I put enough turrets around it, it's got to go, right? I, might, I'm, I seem to be getting better at the old turret creep. Um, bit of that. Build a wall across here. Make the biters pay for it. Build up another um, gas mine here, and that's really close as well, so I can just have the trains rattling back and forth. Um, I might need to think about a um, stacker up here, which might mean turning this station around, which is a little bit of a pain, but not, not, not nothing I can't, can't deal with. Um, and then that'll boost my um, 
Actually, I could probably even pipe it in from down here. It's not that far away. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, that'll boost the plastic production, hopefully up to useful levels. The next thing I think is going to be red circuits and blue sirens, because those are quite pressing. I'm, I think I kind of need those. Um, and from there, well, we shall see. Let's get the clip supposed to started while I remember it. Okay, so, as ever, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll come back come back for the next episode, and I hope this has been interesting. As always, I, I, I would like to hear some feedback as to how you... Uh, how you think I'm doing, how you think I'm getting on, if you think there's things I should be doing differently, if you think there's things I should be doing the same, but more of, and yeah, anything like that. And maybe one of the things I've been trying to work out is the best way to edit these videos together. And at the moment, well, as you can tell, I've just been speeding them up to match the amount of waffling I've been doing. Maybe I should be cutting out some of the less exciting bits. I'm probably going to do that with this one for, the, for all the time I was staring vaguely at my piece of paper trying to work out how many um, things to build. But otherwise, I mean, it's it's an it's an ongoing process, so yeah. Any any suggestions you have would be uh, very would be very very welcome. As I say, see you in the next episode, and thanks for watching.